<laughs> what can you see? It's early! See Underground Ernie on CBeebies! Man of letters here. What's the letter today? Oh, look. It's the letter K. Now let's see what's in the bag. Oh, look at this. One of my favourite toys. Do you know what this is? It's called a kaleidoscope. I'll show you. What you do is you put your eye to one end and you look down it and turn the end. And you can see some amazing patterns. What they've got inside here is an eyepiece, a long mirror, and at the end they have some bits and pieces in this clear plastic, and it turns. I'll show you what this is like. Here we have some glittery bits and pieces in a plastic container. As I turn it, they all move about, and that's what you're looking at. Hey, should we get some out? Now, look at this. Aren't they amazing? Because they're all sparkly, they catch the light. Now, I told you inside there was a mirror. It's a bit like this one. And what you do is move it about and everything goes crazy. Absolutely stunning. Now, if we get this into a line like this and uh, perhaps get out a second mirror, like so, we have two lines. Now it makes a triangle and then it kind of makes a square and as there's more and more of them going, it just goes Absolutely amazing. Stunning. You can have so much fun with this. All it takes is a little bit of experimentation, two mirrors, and some sparkly bits and pieces. There's hours of fun there. It's kicking. So, why not give it a go? Now it's your turn.
two flying kites. I've got some marmalade so I can finally have some toast for my breakfast. Oh, oh are you feeling all right? You're looking a little bit rosy there. Oh. Do you know what? It's strange. It looks as though somebody's painted the walls. They look a different colour. Anyway, on with breakfast. Oh. I am starving. Oh, last two slices. And I think I'd better wash this bottle out as well. That's looking an... Oh. That's why mm. I'm looking at everything through coloured glass. Oh, Doogie. Hey, looking cool. Oh. Right. On with toast. <laughs> They're lovely, aren't they, Doogie? They're made from special coloured glass, just like my sunglasses. Actually, we could make a stained glass picture using this plastic bottle. I'll get my goodie box. Here it is. Right, move that out of the way. Inside, I've got some different coloured poster paints. Here we go. And if I put some water into this cup here, that means I can wash my paintbrush out. And here is my paintbrush. Right, Doogie, I'm going to start with a nice, bright blue colour and do a shape all the way down the bottle like that. And then what I'm going to do is a little wing for a butterfly. And then bigger wings starting to take shape now. So, let's just rinse the paintbrush out. It's time for some green. Some green splodges, I think. There we go, let's put a little splodge in there. And what about one up there and one up there? Some yellow next. Do we like yellow? I think we do. Okay, let's do a nice bright bit of yellow there and perhaps up there as well. And finally, just put a little bit of orange in the bottom. Can you see that, Doogie? It's a nice, bright butterfly. <laughs> oh, where are you going? Oh, what's in your basket? Let's have a look. Oh, Doogie, it's a torch. Now we can shine a light through our bottle and see all of the colours. Look at that. What a good idea. Oh, no. I can smell burnt toast. Oh, and we're out of bread. I'm going to go and have to buy some now. Where did I put my sunglasses? Oh, Doogie. Three butterflies. Hello, Mark here. Welcome to my shape store. Look, I've got a picture of a castle here. And look at the interesting pattern on top of the walls. Isn't that great? Do you know what? I could make a castle using shapes from my shape store. 
Let's see what I've got. Right. Well, I've got a light grey square there and a big grey rectangle and two smaller rectangles just hiding there. What else have I got? What's interesting? Blue triangles, a grey triangle and a grey half circle. Could use those. And what else? Ah, oh, long, thin rectangles. Okay, ready, steady, shapes. Let's start with the biggest piece, this big grey rectangle, which could be the main part of the castle. And what about this long, thin rectangle? That could be a tower. What else have I got? Another rectangle. I could use that for the other side of the building. And there is my big castle. Now, I need to decorate the top like I saw in that picture of the castle. Remember that interesting pattern? It's made up of squares that go all the way along like that. That's lovely. What about on top here on the tower? I think it might need a roof. If I use a grey triangle, that could be the castle's tower roof. And what else do I need? Windows. I think I could use some of these black rectangles for some of the windows in the castle uh, to let some light in. What about a door? I haven't got a door, have I? I know what I could use for that. This square, grey square would be a nice door. It needs to be a bit taller though, doesn't it? So what about if I use this half circle and put it on top and then I've got a big door for my castle, which I think needs some proper bars on the front to make it look more castle-like. Well, the proper name for this is a portcullis. And just to finish it off, let's have these two brown rectangles and blue triangles for the flags on top. There, the castle made from shapes from my shape store. Why don't you have fun playing with shapes? Oh.